Hello! This is my good friend and helper, Shachulko mate. <laughs> Shachulko, you laugh like a monkey, but you are in such a good mood. But why? We are in Budapest. D4, knight f6, c4, e5, and black is winning. Almost, Shachulko. So, I just want to give you an example how I'm doing my lessons with the smallest children. They like my friend. Mm, this is my lesson. Um, I want to teach. No, this is my lesson. Just be quiet, okay? And uh, I think the, the things what we need to do with the children, uh, we need to create the atmosphere just from the very beginning that the chess is the best game, which is actually the true. So the children, they need to relax. They need to see that it's so good to play chess. And we need to uh, give them praises. We need to uh, tell them that they have really great value. Um, and uh, this is uh, the pictures from the kindergarten where I teach. I have several kindergarten online courses, live courses in Bratislava. And we do it together with my friend uh, Shachulko. And even the uh, the things, the, the activities, which looks in the beginning like boring, doesn't need to be boring. Uh, like if you put on the magnetic uh, board, uh, you put pieces, you, you can, for example, sing them like Rook A1, and the children, they sing after you, and it can be excited for them. So, um, we use the big, uh, big chess board, they imitate the pieces, they play different uh, games like uh, chess mushrooms here, and it's really very funny. And on the end of the uh, lesson, they play against each other. And uh, then the most talented children, we, uh, or those who want, we invite them to uh, more advanced courses. And um, uh, then we go deeper there. Yes, of course, we go deeper there and uh, I try to give them uh, rewards, uh, like they got titles during the lesson. So they are like uh, Candidate Master, FIDE Master, EMGM, the Candidate of the World Master, even the World Master, if they could answer the, the questions. And uh, if they don't know the questions, I don't want them to feel that they are losers. So my friend is giving them hints, like for example, made in two, or um, use your queen, etc. And so it's funny for children. And then those who are best, I'm inviting them to uh, their first tournaments. So this is four year old. Arthur, and uh, he started to play when he was four on preschool. The next year he was still in the kindergarten, so he was already my helper. And when I invited him to, uh, to chess tournament, I, I, know, I knew that he would not win. So I, I made a trophy for the youngest player, and then he got the trophy. He was so happy. His mother wrote me that he even slept with the trophy. So that's, I think, one of our goal to make them, make them happy. Then if you do things, try to do it also outside in the nature. Uh, here, here children are solving some puzzles, but what is even more important is to give them some rewards, good words, but also a little bit what they can take home. So I'm using small uh, stones, precious stones, minerals, and they got, if they win, they got, if they draw, and they got even if they lose and they like it, and if, uh, if they have a lot of them, they are changing from the, for the bigger one. And then during the spring and um, uh, su summer, we do camps, and that's something wonderful. Exactly, so here you see we enjoying, we have a carnival, they are dressed like this, and then they play, uh, one day they play their games dressed like that. And uh, also there are different other activities during the camps, um, uh, we, we need some break, so uh, we engage in activities such as archery, treasure hunts, and simply we have a very good time together. And we made an exception and we allowed even the five years old talented players to attend chess camp. So this guy was five years old when he came this summer and he enjoyed very much. 
and what is very important is friendship. Uh, if, if they have good friendship together, then they can keep uh, playing and, and they will not quit the chess. So, uh, for those who are more advanced, I create the Future Champions League in Bratislava and it's they, they meet eight times in a year for a classical, classical game and they played together 16 games and it's A for a more advanced player and players and B for beginners or advanced beginners. And uh, during the summer we do also festival in our city and this is also very good and it's growing every year and we are very happy, happy for it. We also want to uh, promote uh, in the city the chess uh, during the big grape harvest festival. So uh, thousands of people are passing by and we do this chess tournament. Uh, in our part of the Bratislava city. And I also like to do something very fun and, and which is uh, interesting and it is what? Bike and chess! So in a forest they, have, uh, they, they need to do seven rounds biking and then they played eight blitz games. And if you are slow on bicycle then you have less time on the clock and very similar run and chess. This is a nice event for the whole family. Again, seven rounds in the forest, running and then playing chess between. Uh, also, um, uh, in our community, uh, they really are sup supportive in the part where I live in Bratislava. So I'm organizing the matches, old versus young. And it's really a great match, always. And uh, on the end, I want to say that I wrote a book about my dreams. And this is also a tool which helps me to reach out to small children. Uh, it contains the fairy tale, his dreams and funny stories. And between the chapters, there are chess rules, there is like poems, and there is also like uh, current, uh, today's famous chess players, some information and photos for them. Thank you so much and see you in Bratislava! Thank you.